Hey there! So, gonna head and uh, we're working on the costume for our unicorn rider. Unicorn. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you this boot. It's a leather boot, it's shiny, and uh, it is real leather. It's a children's boot. And, you know, Mod Podge just doesn't really want to stick to this shiny surface very well. Um, and I've tried a couple other glues too. Just isn't working. So, what I'm actually gonna do is use our solvent urethane that I use on all my stuff. It's that two-part urethane. Um, uh, I think you'll see at the bottom of the page, I'll have a link to it. It's by, uh, it's called Everclear. It's by Sculpt Nouveau. And um, it's flexible, but it also has really good adhesion. And what I've done is, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you. I did a little sample. See that? That's solvent urethane with uh, some, uh, let's see, it, it's Pegasus Pink, which is a holographic. It's Josie's Posy, which is a metallic, and it's Azalea. And I just did a little mix over the top of it by hand, just mixing it by hand over the top. And I think it's really effective. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the next section so you can watch me work. And I'm just putting it on with a brush. And uh, I'll go ahead and point the camera down and we'll have you take a look. Um, outside, it's really quite breezy right now. So uh, if it wasn't respirator, Solvent urethane must have a respirator. Fortunately, has a quite a bit of breeze here, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, using a brush, very fine tip, and I'm very carefully working my way along the edge. I want a nice clean line. Uh, you could certainly do the entire surface of your boot you wanted to but in my case uh, our costume has a wonderful pink you know gingham dress and pink other things <laughs> so I want a lot of the pink of the leather to show through I think it'll look real classy so I'm, I'm just adding accents uh, the two-part urethane is meant for metal <laughs> uh, and wood, but I find that it works on all sorts of great surfaces that it's absolutely not made for, including shiny leather. Just sits right on top, and it's a slow enough dry where you can do, you know, a pretty good section of it, and then glitter. It's not so fast to dry that, you know, you have to just do a couple inches and then go in and work on it. Take a look. Yep. Now, if you like it more blended, you can go ahead and actually blend the three colors into one cup and that way you get a more uniform thing. I actually kind of want the blotchiness because I want your eye to catch it while she's riding on the horse. I want the sunlight to catch it and with these different colors it'll be catching uh, at different times and in different lights. So this is actually what I like but if you like it to be less less modeled and more uniform then you'll want to mix your glitter in a cup beforehand. Okay, so let's say you miss a spot. Um, you can wait for this to dry, and you can do another coat over it. Um, you can also do a seal coat over it of this uh, solvent urethane uh, to seal it in there so you don't get flaking. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the other side of the boot, and uh, we'll show you what they look like when they're done.